Hello guys and welcome back to another video. This is another Photoshop CC 2019 tutorial where we're going to be going through some of the tools just so you have a better understanding of how to use them. Also showing you some shortcuts or some tips and tricks about the tool that you may not have already known. Today's video we're going to be going through the marquee tools. So the rectangular, you've got the elliptical, you've got the single row marquee and you've got the single column. We're going to be mainly working with the rectangular marquee tool because all four of these work in the similar fashion it's just that they can create and select different shapes so if you're on another tool on the tasks bar all you can do is just press the layer M and it will select the tool for you if you've got the elliptical marquee tool selected and you're on another tool you can press M as well and it will select that one for you as well so a bit of a background in the tool what this tool allows you to do is create a perimeter and once you let go of your left click, as you can see, it will highlight what, we've, what we want to select. And because we're on this layer, on this black circle here, if we were to copy and paste, it would copy only the, the bit that was in the bit that we selected. So what we can do is if we just get this black circle here and we move it into the center, I can show you another demonstration that may make more sense to you. So press M to get onto the, the tool and then what we can do is we can just highlight this quarter here and then if we do Control C to copy and Control V to paste as you can see it's just copied the bit that we've selected. Another few things that are cool with this feature is as you can see if we're, we're trying to select something um, the, the box is free to go wherever. If you hold down the shift button it locks it into place where it stays at its proportion so as you can see it doesn't um, go everywhere that it wants to if we was to let go of the shift button as soon as we press the shift button it locks into place as well and this is the same um, case with the, the circle marquee tool as well as you can see we can make a circle of any shape and size as soon as we press the shift button it locks into um, a circle that um, is staying in shape so you're always dragging the shape from the, the top left if you use to hold down alt the shape comes out from the center and this allows us to um, select shapes from the center so if we were to put our mouse in the center here as you can see it, it comes out from the corners if we press the alt button it comes out from the center of where we first put our mouse and I'm just going to demonstrate that again with the rectangle so we can put our mouse in the center of this circle here and like we've done before we're selecting quarters as soon as we hold down the alt button it comes from the center and this allows us to hold down alt and shift at the same time and that's both shortcuts um, acting together so it will come from the center and stay like its original shape we can demonstrate this one more time with the circle marquee tool by selecting a bit of the center in this circle here and then pressing Control c to copy and Control v to paste and as you can see we've got the smaller circle another shortcut with this tool is if we was to try and select a quarter of this circle like we have previously but we accidentally slipped and didn't get um on the center of the circle we can do Control d and the d stands for deselect so if you want to select something but you think no that's that's not exactly what I'm wanting selected then just press Control D and it will um, get rid of the selection for you another use for the, the tool is that you can make a selection and instead of copy and pasting from an image like we have previously let's make a new layer quickly just so we can demonstrate it better what you can do is you can fill in selections we've created a circle here I'm gonna make this white down here into a black and I'm gonna leave that one gold press down the alt button and press backspace so hold down alt and press backspace it will fill whatever you've selected in with the the first color that you've got down here and let's make another circle here and if you hold down the control button and put a backspace it will fill whatever you've selected with the background color here which we've got selected as gold you can also use all these functions on your image work as well so for example if we just wanted this bit of the shape here I don't know it looks like the shape of a business card so say we wanted to just crop that bit out for a business card 
highlight the, squ the square, Control C to copy, Control V to paste and it will automatically put what we've selected into a new layer for you and as you can see if we disable the image layer here we've got what we selected in a new layer. So as well as doing this with shapes, cutting and pasting and filling you can also do this with images as well. We're going to select the circle tool got the, the circle marquee tool selected and as you can see at the bottom we've created a, a pastely red color just to show you guys that you can fill on top of images as well so let's make a circle remember that the red is in on the, the front color that we've selected so you hold down alt and backspace this leads me on to the final thing that I want to tell you about the tool as well as um, selecting objects and images and you know copying and pasting from them filling in shapes you can also use the select tool to delete stuff so we've got our circle and our rectangle here that we made and I want to make it obviously so it's still rectangular so what we can do is we can highlight what we want to select and we can just hit the backspace button and it deletes it for you so you can also delete stuff as well so if we don't want this bit here at the bottom backspace drag what you want to select at the top and then hit the backspace and it also deletes it for you. So yeah, hopefully this has given you an insight into um, the, the marquee tools, mainly the, the rectangular and the clip tool ones, which are the, the two main ones. And it's, and it's given you a few shortcuts where you can play around with it. If you have any questions on this tool or there's anything else that you want to kind of know about this tool, my comments are always looked at and I always reply to every single one so if there's any questions then just let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and yeah hopefully this has been um a strong video and you've learned something let me know in the comments below if you've learned at least one thing as it's always great to learn something new every day and make sure that you take a look at my channel if there's any other tools that you need to familiarize yourself with as um, i do a lot of tutorials and graphic design videos and i'll see you guys in the next one